Welcome back to another of my DocuSign Quick Tip video series and in this one you're going to learn how you can add validation to your text fields. So what is a validation rule? A validation rule is a rule that you can apply on a field or a set of fields to make sure that your signers enter the data in the format that is uh, exactly the one that you expect. For example, you might want to validate a field for social security numbers to ensure that your recipients aren't missing a digit or enter letters in the field. If you validate the field, then DocuSign will not let your signers complete the envelope until the entry matches the rule. So if they enter something like a letter or if there's a missing digit, they won't be able to finish. And if you're new to DocuSign and don't know where to start, I recommend that you download my DocuSign Mastery Cheat Sheet to help you navigate the template creation process and understand what field you need to use on your documents. It's totally free and it helped a lot of my students. So I want you to have it. You can click on the link in the description of this video to download it now. So to add validation to your text field, you just need to add a field. And then once the field is selected, you're gonna see a validation tab to the right. If you expand this, it's by default set to none. And so if we wanna add a validation to our social security number field, for example, we can just use the SSN validation rule. So if we click on recipient preview, which will uh, show us exactly what the signer will see when they try to uh, fill out the envelope. If I click on the field as the signer and start to enter text, automatically DocuSign says that it's invalid and I won't be able to finish the signing experience. But if I enter an actual social security number, then DocuSign doesn't tell me that it's incorrect. But if I want to add you know, an extra number, then it's incorrect. So DocuSign knows exactly how many digits um, a social security number is made of. So the list of validation rules that you can uh, apply to your fields by default are uh, email, numbers, letters, date, and zip. And you've also got custom. So why would you want to use custom validation? So for example, if you want to capture the date of birth from your signers, if you use a standard text field and don't add a validation rule, then your signers will be able to enter whatever they want. And so some uh, signers might enter this, some other signers might uh, enter you know, the day uh, first, and some other signers will enter the month first, so you don't really have control over how your signers are going to enter this date. And so what you wanna do is you want to use a date validation. Now, if you use the validation date that DocuSign provides, uh, you can select the validation mask that you wanna to add to the, um, to the text field, but I'll show you exactly what happens when your signers try to enter the date of birth. So it's basically just a date picker, which could be very useful um, but what happens if you're born a long time ago? Some signers will not understand that they have to click on the year and will basically not find a way to navigate many years back. And so that's why I actually don't recommend using the date validation because it doesn't make it easy for your signers to navigate many years back. Instead, what you can do is you can add a custom validation rule. And so the way you would do this is by, instead of selecting date, you go custom and so here you can build your own validation rule. Now, if you don't know how to code in rejects, you're gonna to need to reach out to a developer or maybe just do a Google search and so you'll most likely find a rejects validation if you just maybe Google date of birth rejects validation. Um, you'll most likely find it. And if you're looking for a partner to assist your business with your DocuSign implementation, you can find the link in the description of this video to book a strategy call with one of our specialists. We'll see you then. I've already got my custom validation rule for dates. I'm just going to um, use this one here and you're going to see the difference. So in this field, um, I can actually see that I need to enter the date with month first, followed by the days and the year. If I make a mistake and enter the day first, then DocuSign knows that there's no month, there's no 17th month. So I need to enter the day followed by the month, followed by the year. And I think that it's actually a better experience for signers. Um, and that is just to show you the power of validation. So if you want your uh, signers to enter an EIN number 
So if I actually use the EIN number, what you can do is pretty powerful. So for example, um, this rejects pattern here allows signers to enter different um, variations of the EIN. We can either enter nine digits and DocuSign will accept it, but we also know that some people like to enter a hyphen between the second and the third digit. So if we enter a hyphen, DocuSign will also accept this. You can also add validation rules to checkboxes because by default, checkboxes are um, non-required, which means that your signers will be able to skip them. But if you want to make them required, you can add a valid validation rule that says that they need to select at least one box. Um, you can also add a validation rule that says that they need to check one box out of a group of two options. And remember that the rules only apply to checkboxes that belong to the same group. So if you add another checkbox that doesn't belong to the group, and the way you would know that this checkbox doesn't belong to this checkbox group is because of the blue dashed outer line that you can see around checkboxes that belong to the same group. And so if you wanna add checkboxes that belong to the same group, just make sure you select a checkbox instead of dragging and dropping a new one and then click on the little plus. And that's basically how you add checkboxes that belong to the same group. If you add validation to this uh, checkbox, the rule won't impact uh, this particular checkbox. So um, you can set different kinds of rules. You can set a rule that says that they can um, select a maximum number of checkboxes. They can select an exact number of checkboxes. So they can select maybe two checkboxes out of a group of five. And they can also select a range. So between two to three uh, checkboxes. If you are starting with DocuSign and want to learn a bit about envelopes, fields, and templates, how they work, you can access my free DocuSign crash course following the link in the description of this video. I hope this video was helpful. I upload weekly content on DocuSign and electronic signature in general. If you want to be notified the next time I upload one, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out my other tutorials. I will see you in the next one. Ciao.